So, Sherelle and I was talking about scary movies in here. Um, mm. And we haven't seen Terrifier. Yeah, have y'all seen that yet? I actually never heard about it, but I saw a commercial or an ad for it on t- for Terrifier 3. And I was like, wow, right. I'm three movies behind. Yeah. Um, so, I'm intrigued by whatever this movie is. I don't know if this is a good idea. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. Like, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to regret it. I already know. You're not going to regret I it. I am. I'm, I am. a <clears throat> Listen, I am a scary individual. Don't be scared. Sierra, you know I'm scary. You know this. Then don't be scared. <laughs> Just it, stop being scary. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't yeah. work like yeah, that. Yeah, no, I think it does. Yeah. It doesn't. Just like that. Oh, stop. That's not how it works. Stop. There you go. Not scared no more. Just say, stop scared. I'm not scared of you. Stop. Listen, if y'all set it up, I will be in attendance. But have any of you guys? I want to know if you, if you, I want to know if any of you guys have heard of the movie Terrifier, because I've never. I've literally. I heard of it. I'm excited though. I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm kind of like sad because like we won't get to see it in movie theaters. Well, the third one is in theaters right now. I know. But limit, I think they're in like limited theaters. You know what I think it is? I don't even think it's a scary movie. I think it's a gross movie. Yeah, see, oh, my mom can't watch that. I mean, she's not going to. Yeah, I think it's more of a gross movie than a scary movie. I told Simone that she needs to watch, that we need to watch Thanksgiving since Thanksgiving coming up. We do. And she was like, because no, and my mom. Oh, you want your mom to watch she, that? No. I no. just want because it's going to be funny. No. It's going to be funny to get her reactions Mm-mm. Mm-mm. because she's not. We went to go see Thanksgiving last year, y'all. Ciao. I don't know what we thought we signed up for. Yo. I don't know what. I don't know what. That I, shit got right to the point. I don't know what I thought that movie was going to be, but that's not what I thought it was going to be. We knew exactly what we, like, <laughs> seven minutes in. They wasted no time, Which and I was here for it. I love. Well, let's get to the killing, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. It's. Yeah. You saw the trailer, basically. Yeah. So, like, what you thought it was going to be a love scene in here or nothing? No, like, no. 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 Absolutely not. I love so, it, though. if you're looking for a decent uh, Thanksgiving movie, you know. Watch Thanksgiving. Yeah. <sighs> Don't eat, but after. I, I wouldn't watch it, like, the day before, because you're going to be like, oh. Watch it the day after? Yeah, maybe the day after or, like, the week before. I don't know. If you're into scary movies, I think it would be a good movie to watch on Thanksgiving. But nobody's going to really watch it because niggas be watching football. Yeah. So. Boo. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, let me go ahead and start the show. Ciao, yes. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, everyone. What is happening? What's good here? I'm your girl, Sierra T. And I'm your girl, Sherelle B., also known as Jarrell M. Now. <laughs> and this is Oz Mary She's a now. Mary woman now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and this is Ted yes. Reps. <laughs> go ahead, let it out. I know. No, go, I go. No, nope, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. No, nope, you let it out. Sister. I'm done. You let me know when you I'm want done. me to go. I'm done. Go. Oh, are you sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and <laughs> And this is Hair Wraps and Lipsticks, the podcast. Where we wrap the culture up in color. Yes, ma'am. Mm-mm-mm. I know y'all big mad at us. Yeah, so we uh, we did say two weeks. <laughs> and it's been three. It is. Uh, but we're back. Yeah, hey guys. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So. Fun, fun. Yeah. And, and you already know. Yeah. And we have an announcement. We'll be going live next week for, <laughs> for live election coverage. This will be our second time doing this. God, Damn. That's crazy. That is that's crazy. crazy. Um, so it will, you know, we guys you guys we record on Tuesdays. So it'll be Tuesday, what you want to say, like 7 30. Yeah. Tuesday, next Tuesday, 7 30, we'll be going live. I'm gonna bring the popcorn. Okay. She's going to bring the popcorn. Mm-hmm. We'll be going live on YouTube, and we'll try Instagram and TikTok as well. Yeah. Um, listen, I only have but so much equipment. Again, we are the only people who run this podcast. Correct. So, um, but we will definitely be live on YouTube. Absolutely. Um, and, of course, the episode, if you missed it, the episode will be up on that Thursday. Right. But we'll be doing live election coverage, um, hopefully keeping the faith. We hope that you have gone out and early voted. Get, get your fucking ass up. 
Don't, first of all, if you listen to this show and you haven't voted yet, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I mean, why are you here? Well, I mean, it, we've only been talking about this shit all year. All year long. North Carolina, you have until November 3rd at 3 p.m. I'm sorry. Second. Sorry, I lied. You're absolutely right. Yeah. November 2nd till 3 p.m. to early vote. If you are not in North Carolina and you need to know exactly what your early voting schedule is in your state, mm -hmm. please go to vote.org. They have every single state, and then they can break it down by region mm -hmm. so you know exactly what time uh, you have up until to vote. Please, please, please. You don't want to be stuck on election day on those long lines where they're out here trying to push a narrative, push, you yep. know, oh, it's 7 o'clock, you, you can't yeah, vote. Yeah, no, uh -uh. yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. So, I mean, and if you can't early vote, we understand life happens, but as long as you vote do I? between, oh, well, do you know what? Do I understand? Because it's what, been a week, two Ashley, weeks? Ashley, you know what? You know? Because it's been like, what, two weeks? Last name change, but not the optimism. You know? um, <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really... <laughs> I'll, I'll be your resident pessimist. I'll be out there and see her be like, bring your ass back yeah, here. Because yeah. it's been two weeks almost. When you're at home on Saturday, yeah. it literally takes you 10 minutes to vote. Because I went on this. I, you know what I did? I went to my mail. It was like, hey, Sierra, you know, here goes some mail stuff. I was like, oh, you know what? I can go vote today. Correct. And my that's what I did. Yeah. I went and got my mom and my sister, and mm -hmm. we all just went ahead and vote. My dad was in New York at the time, but he came back and voted. Yeah. Like, it's done. Like, yeah. Period. Okay. Period. The Burts and the McNairs have voted. Period. My mom has already voted. My stepdad has already voted. Yes. You know, I'm working on my brother. I'm working on him. You know, you know those YNs. He told me that YNs mean young niggas. So I use that a lot now. Okay, because I was like, what is a YN? Yeah, these YNs means young niggas. We're abbreviating young niggas now? I mean, it is a bit of a mouthful. Young it's niggas. Not. Oh. <laughs> it's not at all. <laughs> no? Okay. No. I, I felt like it was. What? YNs. Why is? I can't. Yeah, these YNs be tripping. I can't do this now. Yeah. I can't do you know, this. We now. might need to get hookah at the uh, at the poll at the poll so they can, the young, the YNs can come and vote. I mean, you know, a little I'm, bit of hookah. I'm not opposed to it. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, anyway, see. make sure your ass is out and vote. Go That's ahead it. and vote it. Don't That's don't embarrass me. Seriously, seriously. Too much is on the line. Yeah, and we gonna get to all that. Well, some <laughs> of it. Yeah, yeah. We know we've missed a lot. Yeah. We missed a lot. Um, but you know what? You'll mm -hmm. be fine. Mm -hmm. You'll be okay. Yeah. I think the most important thing right now is whether what's this country going to look like after November 5th. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, sis, what can you wrap your head around? What can I wrap my head around? That's, is, a, that's a great question. It's probably a better question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going to just go back into wedding mode. Sure. And I cannot wrap my head around people that RSVP and then don't show up. I knew this was coming. I'm listening. I was there. I was there. I always VP and showed up. Yeah. I was in the wedding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't wrap my head around it. Um, few conversations I still need to have. Cause I still because I just I haven't I haven't really been in the mood to like talk about it because I'm just in like newlywed bliss right now. Got it, got it. But I do feel like some people know that it's coming. So they're not saying anything to me purposely. Oh yeah, it's it's, a, it's called a, what's called silent guilt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but eventually it'll be like they'll comment on something I say on Instagram or something. I'll be like, oh, so you know how to respond? Damn. So I can't wrap my head around it. So okay, like, yeah, that's that's really it because I we have way too much to talk about for me to take a deep dive <laughs> into it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think what I am going to do um, is I kind of want to do a series about things that I've learned as a bride, things that are not even necessary, mm -hmm. just things that you experience. And I kind of feel like a lot of other couples have experienced the same thing. So mm -hmm. I, I just kind of want to know. And that's one of them. I'm like, and it's like, I didn't realize it until like later on. I'm like, where's so-and-so? Yeah. Where's so-and-so? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. I think that would be good content too. You, you know, know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. just kinda like, huh. Yeah. So you just you just not gonna come. Bad. Yeah. So that's really it. That's really what I can't wrap my head around mm -hmm. to this day. Yes, it's been three weeks and I'm still on it. But uh, you know, that's that. Yeah. We're gonna move we'll we'll I'll get past it eventually. Mm -hmm. But as of right now, I'm like, mm-hmm. So. Yeah, yeah. I feel that. What about you, sis? Um 
I I don't really have that much, um, but I will say uh, Verizon, you suck. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go. Really? You know, I was at home one day minding my business, right? Not <laughs> not looking for new internet. Um, oh, but they, <laughs> you know, not looking for new internet. Let's right. say, you know, mm-hmm. minding my business, like they're knocking the door. It's a white dude out, outside. He's like, yeah. people still going door to door. Why? First of all, I was like, why? Well, I, I must have been in a mood because I was like, hey. I was, oh, yeah. And was talking for, to that man for like an hour. Anyway, we're talking. You know, he from like Pittsburgh or some shit. Uh-huh. You know, whatever. Anyway, so we're mm-hmm. talking. You know, I signed up for a little free. I get a free trial of, you know, 30 days of internet with the little with the Verizon thing. And the Verizon doesn't come. It's called the gateway. It's a little white box. Oh. And it doesn't come with a modem and a router. It's just the router. Whatever, whatever one that you stick the Ethernet cord into, right? So it doesn't come with both. The modem. It's the modem? No, don't. don't okay, don't anyway, know. it comes just one box, right? And so I get the box, because the dude was like, oh, it's going to be great, you know? And he's like, because my transparency moment, I'm paying $97 a month for internet. Yes, Spectrum, you count your fucking days, Spectrum. Wow, Spectrum has gone up OD. I feel like I'm being taken advantage of. Anyway, um, so anyway, so he's like, you know, oh, yeah, you know, with, with, with um. With Verizon, you know, you'll, you'll probably have like a fifty or a sixty dollar bill. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, oh, bet, say less. Yeah. Send me the gateway. I want to go down the gateway. Sounds great. You're right. I get the box. Didn't realize it was only going to be one box. And apparently, you have to sit it next to a window, elevated off of the floor. That's too much. Right. So you know, I only got three windows in my apartment. Yeah. <laughs> Set it up at all three windows, and you know, I'm surrounded by trees. Tried it, couldn't get past. You get it gives you like the the five bars. Couldn't get more than than two bars. I was so livid. I was so hot because I was really excited to have this new Verizon internet because Verizon has good service. Like yes, that's, that's what like when you said I was like really yes. Verizon has good service, but clearly not where I live. Damn. And so I had to send the box, and I was so angry. I was like, I don't know why it made me mad, sis. No, I get it. Because, like, you first of all, you took the time to yeah. set it up and everything like that. Yes. Like, how much did they say you were going to pay? Oh, I, I, I canceled it yesterday. I only got paid $7.74, oh, okay. which is crazy because I've only had it plugged in for about five days altogether at this point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whatever. So, I mean, Verizon, you suck. Your internet sucks. Damn. Um, and maybe you, maybe you guys should send it up with a, a router and a modem because. Right. That's what most people yeah. have. But the fact that it had to be near a window. And, yeah, that's uh, and elevated. And they said that to you? Like, that was the instructions? That was in the instructions, my nigga. It said, make sure it's near the, the window and make sure it's elevated. So I'm using the little, you know, because I ain't got no, no um, table, right. regular table. I'm using the damn dinner table thing. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm like, and this shit don't even work. No. Yeah. F. So, F, F, F. Verizon, you suck. Yeah, no, that's not cool. And I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm grateful I didn't cancel my spectrum before. That part. You know, you know? Yeah. You know? Because then, then what? Right. So, yeah, Verizon F. I actually can't believe that they have people going door to door still selling stuff in mm. these days. Like, between a pandemic mm. and just safety, mm. re- you just don't know who's okay. opening that door. Yes. You don't know what you're about to walk into, what you're about to see, yes. what you're about to smell. Right. And then also for the people that are like working for Verizon, like I don't know you. I th- I don't I had never understood the they whole They got idea. all your info. They not your address yeah. and now like, you know, what's your name? See right. like, ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Well, Naomi was on FaceTime. I was FaceTiming her through my computer when the door opened. So she good. she decided to stay on because she was like, Who is this F no door? Facts. So she was being you know, she's a good friend. She was being nosy and whatnot. What? Because she was like, I. She said, women. She said, what? She said, what Yakubian snow devil was at your door? Wait a minute. A what? A what? Naomi, what? A what? A what? <laughs> a Yakubian snow devil. Um, She said there was a Yakubian snow devil at my door trying to sell me stuff. Um, So anyway, yeah, that is how that works. So okay, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, people are just psycho. Yeah, I've been going down an SVU dive the last couple days. I've been on several cases, and um, mm -mm, people are just psycho. Yeah, people are psycho. I've been a lawyer and a detective, a sergeant Mm -hmm. for the last couple days. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm sure you're tired. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of cases. I have yeah. to, you know, I got to put nasty people in jail because yeah. they're just disgusting. Lock them up, including <sighs> Trump. Speaking of Trump, you got, you ready to get into politics? No. 
Yeah. I, yeah, I know. Sure. Um, listen, you guys know we got a list. We make, you know, I don't know. Yeah, checking don't, it twice. twice. I can't uh, believe you're about to be at Christmas. And I'm like, I, but I'm just, I love Christmas. I know you do. I love Christmas so much. So. Christmas is cool. I love Christmas. Yay, Christmas. I get to watch Tim Allen movies and the Home Alone 2. Elf. Elf and, is my favorite Christmas and movie. Elf. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Oh, and of course, this Christmas, you know, for the blacks. Come on, the blacks. Yeah, I got to watch the Chris Brown. Yes. You got to. Yes. Um, I mean, where should we start? There's a lot. There's a lot. Um, do you want to start with? I think we should start with the burning ballots and you just threatening everybody to vote. Yeah. So <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Um, yesterday, actually, in Vancouver, Washington, a ballot box was uh, set on fire. Hundreds of ballots were possibly burned. There is no way to recover that information. Who these people voted for? Um, and okay, hold on. What we got here? So, a Vancouver ballot box was burned in, in an arson Monday morning, authorities report, with hundreds of ballots possibly damaged in the fire. Investigators believe the incident is connected to two other arson incidents in Portland and southwest Washington. Um, this happened shortly after 4 a.m. when I, where there was a heavy smoke was seen coming from inside of a drop-off ballot box. Yeah, um... I, first of all, I've never seen a ballot box in person before. Me neither. And so my, my first question was, is this how they, they vote in Washington? Do they not go like to the, like. Right, right, to USPS? Yeah. I don't know. But I feel like, I mean, and this might be a ridiculous, like Michael Jordan Space Jam stretch, mm -hmm. but like with this type of election space that we're in, mm -hmm. I feel like there needs to be like some type of extra security or something. I don't know. Like maybe the ballot box needs to be in like a county office. I don't think just having a ballot box on Main Street. You know what I think is smart. It you know what I think it should be inside the post office. Yeah, almost. Yeah, like they do like the, yeah, the okay. letters to Santa. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, like what? Because I mean, I if I can get this footage up, I'll show y'all. But it's like they just. It's outside. Yeah, that's all. It's, and like it is raining outside when they're trying to put this fire out. Yeah. That's weird. Look, it's raining. Yeah, that's. Like, why is this outside? Why is it outside? Yeah. Why are they outside? Yeah. And I have, like, I have so many questions. See, detective. So I'm like, like, it, did somebody put the ballot box there? Like, was it stolen and put? Because no. To your point, I just feel like. It, it should be in a little bit more secure area. So I know like sometimes ballot boxes will be like in front of like the board of elections, like yeah. place or whatever. And it'll just be outside of the place. Mm. Like, like I think like last week somebody had been, sh was shooting in front of another like board of elections. Like they were just, it's just yeah. out. It's just out. It's, and it's not behind a, a like secure it. wall or anything like that. I don't like it. So I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, when it comes to, like, the mail-in ballots, like, I, I understand why they exist, but I never trusted them for reasons like this. That's right. Um, but it also, like, it just kind of shows, like, the climate that we're in when it comes to the political sector. Because before Donald Trump got into the politics, I swear, everything shifted when that man came down that raggedy-ass escalator. I swear. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember. I'm not going to say I don't think this happened. I don't remember hearing about issues like this. And even though I was younger, like, mm -hmm. I was constantly watching the news with my grandmother and all those things. I Like, they made me watch that stuff. Yeah. So I don't remember hearing about stuff like that when the Bushes were running, mm -hmm. um, you know, when, when Mitt Romney and Barack Obama were running against each other. It was when that man came down that golden stair that everything shifted. We it's it's weird. Well, I mean, I think we hear this a lot too, but obviously Donald Trump was a response to Barack Obama getting elected. Absolutely. So Girl. Yeah. And so I mean, I think that's exactly what that's <laughs> a in black relation. Man for two terms? Yeah. Uh uh, honey. Yeah. So I think that that like that this kind of like really Ooh, wild girl, and preach. like just over the top type of like of mischief is a direct result of that. And like now it's like a black woman. Running for president? Yeah. 
Yeah. So no one has been uh, charged yet. They're still looking for him, but they did find a vehicle that they think might be the suspect. Okay. So that, all right, that's yeah. all. But that's all we got. Get him out of here. But I mean, I, I mean, I wish that we we would never know like how many bowels was in that box. Yeah. So several hundreds in the in the the the, the police chief said only a few were able to be saved from hundreds that were in there. So I'm wondering how that works. Like for those that. Mm, it probably isn't really even no way to prove it. That your ballot was in that box? Yeah, it's like... Yeah, I you mean... You know what I mean? It hasn't been counted yet. That's crazy. Because the, 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 the police chief said the ballots were last picked up Saturday at 11 a.m. So who, everybody who put their ballots in that box since whatever time, they're going to either have to redo it... And this happened on Monday. Yeah, this happened on Monday. Yeah, so everybody is going to either have to... Re, oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. No. so they're going to have to redo... Their, their vote hasn't been counted yet. Oh, that's... That's... Um, sad. This is why I'm like telling people, like I'm urging people to go vote early because yeah, I'm thinking about. Do you remember when, like, the first time Obama was getting elected, and they were like trying to close polls early and stay sure, with, yeah. Hmm. That. <laughs> let me <laughs> let me tell you something. That was crazy because there were people like I know, like George is always the fucking suspect here, but there were like Georgia counties in Georgia where they were saying like if you're yeah if you're in if it's after seven and you're in line you can't vote. And that's not true. If you are in line, you still get to vote. Correct. Even if, after, even if the, the polling time has, like, if the polls have closed, if you're in line, you still get to vote. Yeah. So, yeah, no, girl. Go on your way. And this is why I also don't understand why. Uh, well, I, I mean, I, you have early voting, but I shame on employers. Like, you know, I know we're in, you know, the money makes the world go mm -hmm. round. But at the end of the day, I don't think that employers should be condemning their employees for showing up late. They decided to go on election day that mm -hmm. morning. Mm -hmm. Like it's not that deep. I also don't think that there should be any meetings allowed on election day for things. I really don't because yeah. like for those that really like that can't get early voting, mm -hmm. which there really is no excuse. Mm -hmm. But if you decide to go on election day and it's like, I have to be to work at nine. So the polls open at seven, mm -hmm. I'm going to go like, you know, like I got this meeting at, at, at eight 30. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, it's not that It's not that serious. I know other, like, countries, they do, like, Election Day is an actual holiday where everybody is off so that you can go and vote because it's going to take a long time. Yeah, it's only I don't America. think Election Day should be on a Tuesday. I think mm. it should be on a Saturday or a Sunday. Mm. I, I highly stand by that. Highly stand by that. I'm with it. Yeah. I'm with it. Yeah. I'm with it. Yeah. Yeah, majority of people, like, we understand, like, health, uh, you know, healthcare officials and stuff like that, mm. retail but majority of people are off on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I agree. Yeah. I'm with that. Yeah. I'm with that. Um, well, I'm going to tell you who is not off. Uh oh. Black media. Uh, Kamala Harris said, has really been kind of going through the black media sector. She sat down with the shade room. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah. I thought that was a little odd. Hey, get them where you can. Get the, she's trying to get the Y in. She is. <laughs> Is that the name of the episode? Yes. Trying to get, get these the YNs. YNs. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the title. <laughs> That'd be the hardest part of editing the show. Damn it is the title. Thank you. <laughs> Trying yeah, to get these the YNs. YNs. Yes. She been on uh, The Shade Room, a couple others, but the main, the latest one that she did was on Club Shay Shay, mm. uh, where he was calling her auntie. He's only like maybe three Four, years Four, younger than him. Yeah. Younger than her. Um, I haven't really watched... Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't really, I haven't watched it yet. I'll say that I am going to tune in a little bit. Um, I don't know. I think. I think I know what you're going to say. Go ahead and say it. I think I know what you're going to say. I'm going to say you're not on my line and that's the problem. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I, I feel that. <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? I've learned this in therapy that I have to, sometimes I just have to say my words like that. So I just know. Yes. Let me, let me get it out. Yes. I feel that this is sketchy. Why? I don't know. It's, I just didn't like, I got to watch it. Sometimes Shannon, he has his moments where I'm like, you know what? I'm getting with this, but he, mm -hmm. he has, I don't think that he does a bunch of research. So I really, I oh. do hope. That when I do watch it, that he his team has like, all right, look, this ain't Cat Williams, this ain't Marlon Wayans, this is the vice president of the United States of America. Get your shit together, all right? Let's do our research, make sure we got the right questions. Um, 
that that's that's really all I'm concerned about. Um, I've seen a clip or two. Mm. Mhm. No. Um. I mean, it's still Shannon. It's you know. Uh, um. You know. I okay. I'll say this because I've been watching a lot of election stuff or you know whatever like. I feel like there could have been better questions asked, but, 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 but I recognize that she's going to all these different platforms to reach different people. So maybe the same questions need to be asked. So I guess my question when it comes to Club Shay Shay, because it's a very broad audience. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, the majority, you're talking probably uh, black men ages 25 mm -hmm. to 60? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And maybe even higher. Like, my dad has watched, you know, he oh. watched a few episodes of Club Shay Shay, mm -hmm, so... Mm -hmm. um, But he kind of caters to... I've watched episodes of Club Shay Shay. Yeah, same. So, I just kind of want to know what the reach is with this one. The Shade Room? Got it. Uh, the Breakfast Club? Got it. Mm -hmm. What is what is the reach here with, with Shannon Sharp besides just black men? I think, no, I think that is the reach. That's the reach? I think that's the answer. I think that's the answer. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm going to tune in. Uh, I don't, we didn't get the phone call. Damn, Kamala. But it's cool. When she gets in office, it's fine. Yeah. We will go. We're not Joe Rogan. We're not going to try to make you come yeah, to Austin. Yeah, no. I come to the Austin. White House. I actually never been to the White House. I only been once. It was cool. Yeah. I wanted to see if Obama was on, but he wasn't. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. I was upset. It's okay. I asked. Yeah. Yes, I did. Yeah. I asked one of the Secret Service men. I was like, is Obama here? Like, he was like, no, ma'am. I was pleasantly pleased to see a bunch of black uh, Secret Service. It was, that actually kind of choked me up a you little bit. You know what? He probably was there and he just lied to you. No, he wasn't because the flag. Um, so there's a pla the placement of the flag atop of the White House will let you know when the president's in office or not. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You're a nerd. Damn girl, I, I, I you on that spectrum? No, I like to learn things. You on that motherfucker? I like I like to learn things. Yeah, no, you on that spectrum? You know what I'm saying? I got when it comes to history, you on that spectrum, I'm, dog? I'm you're on it. Oh, if you think I'm bad, Simone, you're uh, she, see, I'm like American, cool, and definitely Black history. Yeah, Simone be knowing shit. <laughs> <laughs> Someone be like, well, you know, the Chinese was at war with in 17. I'd be like, wait a minute, I like. Really? I could never grasp history like that. Oh, I love it. It's, I love, I do love American history. Mm. Um, the, I don't, British history I could care less about. Very sure. boring. I think their whole culture is like <sighs> snooze fest. Damn. Um, Shout out to our UK listeners. God damn. Sorry, I just think y'all history is boring. Damn. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Very boring. Like, oh my God. Like you got war and rich and royalty. Like, oh. okay, next. Damn. Asian culture? Oh, Asian culture. In their history? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm here with the black history. Come on. So, you know. But yeah, so that's... Okay, you know, so when the cat, the flag is at half staff, he's not in... The, the president's mm -hmm. not in the office. And it was Barack Obama's birthday weekend, so like, oh. I wouldn't be at work either. That's real shit. You know what I'm saying? That's so, real. But it was cool. So yeah, so yeah. Kamala, when you get elected... Yeah. Call us. We'll yeah. come. Hit, sit in the Oval Office. Help the selling. Sit over there with you and um with Tim. Yeah. It's not a problem. He Tim? can sit in too. Tell Doug to come too. Oh yeah, Doug can come too. And, and and Tim's wife. I don't really know her yet. I mean, she could come. Yeah, she, I gotta get to know her a little bit more. She could come. So that's that. Yeah. We kind of was like, you know, um, with with the media. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I know people are like they really want her to go on Joe Rogan's podcast. Who? A lot of people. They're like pushing for her to go. And he 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 did say that like he wants her to come too. He even said when he had uh, Donald Trump on that he said I do want to have a conversation with her. Yeah, I will. I was very I was pleasantly pleased with Joe Rogan. You listened to the whole thing? Not the whole thing. A majority of it though. Oh I wow! Was pleasantly pleased. And I think I did it in a protective way against Kamala Harris. Oh, let mm. me see what this dude's about to say. About yeah. Her. Very pleased that he was somewhat mature. In his responses to some of the things that Donald Trump was saying about Kamala Harris, mm -hmm. and he was, and you can tell he was trying to like get Trump to be serious for a minute. Like yeah. he was like, no, 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 no. I want her to come because I really want to have a conversation. He mm -hmm. said, I want to get to know her. Mm -hmm. I want to ask her certain things. And of course, that dipshit was like, oh, she'd probably be comatose, laid out on the floor or something, whatever. The 
he was saying what you know what i'm saying so joe rogan was like no no no. so he you know he's like he doesn't but he doesn't want to go to her he wants her to come to him it's like, like you're not running for president. she's the vice president of the united states he i mean comes. but she has been you know moving about and whatnot so yeah but she- you don't have the best reputation bro like you don't have the best reputation, so this is true. forgive her for being skeptical to be like, right. I'm not about to come right. into mm. your studio for you to ridicule me on some dumb shit. Real shit. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. Well, so. speaking of people saying weird things about you, mm. we got to get into it. Some um, This alleged comedian named Kill Tony. Uh, his his last name is Hin- Hincliffe. I don't know. Tony Hincliffe. Anyway, um... You had to be living under a rock if you hadn't heard this one. Seriously. But I'm going to play it for you anyway. A lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. Okay. All right. Okay. We're getting there. Again, normally I don't follow the national anthem, everybody. Uh, This isn't exactly a perfect comedy setup. There's some people here. All right. Very good. So that happened. And Bad Bunny. Oh, he's so hot. Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony all. Well, let me preface this because Mark Anthony has been had an ad out. Okay. Mark Anthony been saying, yo, we not Trump is racist. Don't forget. I love his commercial, by the way. Yeah, it's really good. I'm a low key a big fan of Mark Anthony. Really? Mm-hmm. I need to know. You know I what I'm know. saying? That's the only song I know. Yeah, no, Mark Anthony for real. I <laughs> I see what J Lo saw. I, yeah, don't do that. We're not doing. We talking about politics right now. We talking about politics right now. I was confused. Don't I ain't we, go front. I was we, like, really, Jennifer? We talking about politics right now? She just wanted to have Spanish babies. Go ahead. From the Bronx. Okay, so <laughs> so obviously Mark Anthony, you know. But then Bad Bunny, who has like 40 million followers, and J-Lo as well, finally posted, and not even on their pages, but on their Instagram stories, Mm -hmm. in their support for Kamala Harris. Now, love that for Kamala. Excellent, great, great, great. My issue, Mm -hmm. my issue, my issue Mm -hmm. is that not only have we been talking about this on the show for years, Mm -hmm. but it's like it has been actually visible to Puerto Ricans for years at this point. And not just Puerto Ricans, but like Latinos in general, that he don't like y'all. And I, I, I almost feel kind of offended for Kamala in a sense of this because like, mm. oh, because now, because now that it's personally coming to you, oh, right, now right. that's actually coming to you, now that you're actually being discriminated against now you're like oh i'm taking my vote from trump my other issue was that with this is that bad bunny hadn't made a, a statement of who he's voting for early voting has already started been started so you could have you could have been posted something on your ig story or whatever before early voting started because think of all the puerto ricans or the people who love you who probably went and voted for Trump and would have listened to your voice. But because you decided to wait until some shit like this happened, now you got all those people who have voted for Trump and probably feel some type of way now. And this is what I'm saying about like influence. It's like, I understand, you know, I'm going to wait and make my choice, but I feel like when you have that like uh, amount of notoriety, like Bad Bunny is one of the biggest Latino artists in the world right now. To ever come out. And, Ever. and to wait that long and to wait for something like this to happen to make a stance is ridiculous it's to weird. me. It's weird to me. It's weird. It's weird to me. And also it's weird that y'all don't stand up for y'all people until shit like this happened. Like, that's crazy. And I'll also say, because I, I, I got shit to say, because yeah. I, I said it on Twitter as well. Talk your shit. People of color never want to listen to black people because they think they better than us. They never want to listen to black Americans. But let me tell you something right now. I was fucking born here. I am an American. And at the end of the day, they hate y'all more than they hate us. They'll deal with some niggas, but they don't want to fucking deal with you. And it would be it would behoove you, it would behoove you to fucking listen to us. Because we keep telling us that you're a nigga too. You're a nigga too. And you're not gonna miss it. You're not gonna miss it. I'm always gonna go back to this shit, and I'm always gonna go back to that Asian man who was dragged off of that fucking plane. You'll never forget. Ever. Just like it's 9-11, nigga. You'll never fucking forget. Ever. And I want you to remember this. Every time you decide that you wanna go and follow. Wait, white supremacist ideologies and you think, oh, this is this is who I am. No, it's not. It's not who you are. 
Them, not, them motherfuckers don't like you. Them niggas don't like you. They don't want nothing to do with you. Still, nigga, at the end of the they day. They barely eating tacos. They making y'all take, they making y'all take all the spicy shit out of your sauce, all your, all your meats and shit. They don't like, they don't like you. Literally, they mimic everything you fucking do. I, we, we, we've been trying to tell y'all that, but y'all don't want to listen to us because y'all think they're going to come over here and be treated better than us. And I keep telling y'all this shit. Y'all don't fucking listen. I'm it's, tired. It's sad. I, I, I. I can't wrap my head around it. I really can't. Like, seeing some of the clips from, like, the good liars and stuff. I saw a clip. There was a British reporter that was at some Trump rally in Texas, and Mm -hmm. he literally was talking to a Mm Mexican-American woman. Mm -hmm. Um, She admitted she's an immigrant, but she's legal, everything, whatever. Right, right. And she's at the Trump rally. I mean, Trump shirt, Trump hat, and proud about it with her accent. This, I've never heard anything like this before mm-hmm. in my life. This woman said to that man, because he asked, he asked her, mm-hmm. what, what is it about, you know, like, what is it about Trump that you like? And she was like, oh, the immigration policy. And he was like, what, what, a, what about it? He, she was like, so you actually agree with what Donald Trump has been saying, mm-hmm. mass deportation. This woman, I got to find the clips this and send it to you. This woman That's said right. probably, oh, yes, I agree with mass deportation and said that she has family here illegally that she thinks should be deported. And to the point where the reporter had to stop it because he was like, okay, ma'am, thank you. Like, it's, what the fuck are you talking about? It just, it makes, I don't, like, I feel like a lot of people think it's a joke. You know what I'm saying? They're making fun of it, you yeah. know, but people of color that actually support Donald Trump are mentally insane. I don't care what mm-hmm, anybody mm-hmm, says because mm-hmm. it just makes absolutely no sense. Like, not just black people, the Hispanic community, the Asian community, the Muslim community. Yes. To have Muslims for Trump. <coughs> when that nigga first got in office, he was doing a Muslim ban. He was trying to do a Muslim ban. It, he didn't try. He did it. You're right. You're right. You're he, right. He ran out ne- randomly. Yes. Nobody, he was, he was fresh in he randomly, we got breaking news. Muslim Trump bans Muslims from the United States. What are you talking about? The the Mexican soldier who was murdered at Camp Hood, mm-hmm. uh, Fort Hood mm-hmm. is no longer Fort Hood anymore, was murdered by another American soldier. He was supposed to pay for her funeral. It's on record him saying it don't cost sixty thousand dollars to bury no fucking Mexican. And then to add insult to injury, her family supports him. Her family supports him. The lawyer that's fighting for her, for her family, supports him. Her sister came out and blamed the Atlantic reporter wow. who broke the story. How dare you try to basically like capitalize off my sister's death? Can you imagine? Whoa. Can you imagine that reporter? Like, are you kidding me? Yes. Yes, she put out a statement. How dare you? And ended the statement saying, we support Donald Trump. It is blasphemy to me. So every, and like all these people that are on TikTok, you know, he, after Beyonce was at the the Kamala Harris rally Mm -hmm. and everybody, you know, you take that clip of him saying a dance party of Beyonce and now you want TikTok dancing to that shit. Doing the fucking electric slide. Are you fucking serious? This is all of this, all of that shit goes into make, making people want to vote for him more. You niggas doing the fucking electric slide and the it's goddamn... It's not funny. The fucking Tootsie slide to this shit. Like, what are we talking about? It's what are not we, funny. What are we doing right now? It's not funny. And for, when it comes to, like, the Puerto Rican... And it, I thought it was interesting that Trump came out, the Trump campaign said that, like, you know, they he didn't think that the joke was funny. They, you know, the, the joke does not align with his ideologies and... Rick Scott says something about it. All these Republicans, because they already know the vibes. Mm-hmm. They already know the vibes. They came and was like, oh, we don't, you know, oh, oh we, mm-hmm. oh, you doing too much. Because at the end of the day, Puerto Rico is U.S. territory. Yes. Like, what are you saying? Right. I, I, I'm not understanding. Like, Which is crazy to me, right? Because we know that Puerto Ricans really don't want to be a U.S. territory. We know that y'all want to be your own country. I know, I know, because like... I know y'all want to be your own country. And this is crazy to me. It doesn't make any it sense. It doesn't make any sense to me. But also, I want to go back on that because Joy Ann Reed and Don Lemon said that whew, everything that is said on the stage at there has to be reviewed, Correct. edited, and sent in. That means people looked at that joke and was like, this, is, this checks out. This is great. We'll push it through. Between 
the comedian. I mean, there was so much racist shit that went on on that stage. Mm-hmm. Um, Tucker Carlson, um, mm-hmm. you know, that said that she's not impressive. She has a low IQ. Q. Hulk Hogan, like, are you are y'all not embarrassed? These are the people that you can get. This is the least you can do. Mm-hmm. Hulk, Hulk washed. Washed up uh, WWE wrestlers and, Undert- and washed up black boxers. Undertaker and Kane. That one hurt. Yeah. That one hurt. You know what really fucking hurt, but I'm not shocked. Vinny from Jersey Shore. Oh, I, yeah. You, oh, I know. good? The- no. <laughs> That's her shit. Jersey Shore. But, but, me and someone was talking about it as avid Jersey Shore fans. Mm-hmm. It's not surprising to me. They're Italian. Him. If I saw Ronnie, I'd be like, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Or um, what's the name? Snooky? Yeah, I'd be like, hold on. But Vinny, an Italian from Staten Island? Oh, shit. <laughs> They're Italian. Yeah. Italian from Staten Island? I only feel bad for him because I know that group chat. They was like, are you fucking serious? Damn. I'm just saying. You just the show, brand is done. You showed me an Italian that does like niggas. That's what the I want to see. Right. A Bronx Tale was a movie. <laughs> <laughs> a Bronx Tale was a movie. Come on, fiction. All right? I want y'all to understand that. Those are two actors, and I'm sure that they love each other, but that was a movie. Well, Robert De Niro really lives it. Oh, yeah, Robert. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we, we yeah, love Robert De Niro. De Niro. <laughs> but, um, yeah, okay. It's, it's from Staten Island? Eh. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, dang, I got to make sure my sister's okay. I was like, damn, I Vinny. Like, I, uh, they, the, got, they got that nigga in 4K, too. Yeah, I mean, listen. Yeah, is it gonna stop me from watching Hulu clips? Cause we listen when when uh, Sam and Ronnie was listen classic white filth, love it. But <laughs> 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 I love it. I'm always gonna stand for Jersey Shore. But white at the, filth. that shit was white filth at its finest. That might have to be the new title. <laughs> I'm listening. Whatever you want to do. I actually really like that one. <laughs> that shit was white filth at its finest. I love it, and uh, I'm here for it. But I'm just not here for the races. Uh, shit that's just like we got set, we we got we got like we got a weak people we have a weak people like the jokes at, at this point it's like y'all not taking it seriously um because i'm hearing people like donald trump he is funny has he said some shit every every now and then that you be like this nigga is absolutely insane yes but at the end of the day we're taking it as jokes mm-hmm. but this is how he really lives this is what he feels that man put out an ad to have five black and brown boys put to death over mm-hmm. some shit that they did not do. Yes. And he has yet to stand down on it. Yep. Even when he saw one of them face to, to face. face and still was like, oh, okay. And I said what I said. And I still said what I said. Well, they did it. When they yeah. asked when they asked Donald Trump about it, he said, well, they did do it. No, they did not The fuck is wrong with you? It's not funny anymore. Um, so I, I don't I don't I don't know. I, I really don't know what has to happen mm-hmm. at this point, other than him just getting elected and him adapting these policies. Like, well, I guess which is a good segue. Sis, there's she showed a, uh, she said there's a video of a group of black men who just discovered Project Twenty Twenty Five and had some feelings about it. Have I heard of Project 2025? I think I've heard it in like passing or talking. Maybe you hear about it on Breakfast Club or whatever platforms. I heard someone say on through social media it was like 920 some pages or something like that. Oh man, this is a lot. Black men are a vulnerable group in multiple kind of ways. I don't think enough people are educated on just how bad this 2025 thing is. I'm in a wheelchair, and I do got Medicare. I'm gonna be asked out because I don't have no care for my wheelchair. My grandmother, my grandfather, my grandfather specifically, this would directly affect him, which would be insane. Any woman, let alone somebody in my family, could then possibly be harmed. There's already a shortage of resources that young black kids get. What are we gonna do if we don't provide the same education resources for everyone? He's the same group that used the same rhetoric to make sure that the lives of, you know, would-be children are, te- are, are considered. And then to become, like, 
judicial hitman is crazy. May I speak candidly? It's basically a handbook for slavery. When they have a plan, they have a playbook that's that's right here telling you what the what the what the play is. I think we should concentrate on that. So this is what he mean by make America great again? I only got annoyed with like the first thirty seconds. Like mm -hmm. I think I heard of it. Heard it in passing. The fuck is you listening to? <laughs> like that stuff like that, like seriously, y'all. So I've been told on numerous occasions from even like my boss, my therapist, mm -hmm. my husband. Shro, you have to stop assuming things. You have to stop assuming people. Uh, you have to stop assuming that people know things. You have to stop. You have to stop assuming that people have common sense. And I say that that's bullshit. Oh, because we are all living in the same world. I don't care. Yes, when you are in your home, you are. That is the only seemingly safe bubble that you have. Right, right. But when you are out in the world, I don't care what it is that you are, what you do for a living, what you watch on TV, what you do as a hobby, You, we are all hearing the same information, all of it. Those that are on, that are, uh, on social media at these Trump rallies that are spitting that rhetoric, mm -hmm. those who are not at Trump rallies, we're hearing exactly what they're saying and vice versa. Even if you're like, oh, well, I watch a lot of sports. You cannot not, you cannot not watch the NFL, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and not hear about um, your rights to vote. Yeah. You have NFL players that are interrupting, inter oh. interrupting yes. interviews with Make America Great Again hats. Yep. You have NFL kickers who spoke at college on college at a college graduation berating women. women. Told them that to find you cannot a man. watch the NBA, the US Open, the fucking Olympics without hearing about what's going on in this world. So I don't want to hear that. I, I I refuse. I refuse. Just because you don't go to church does not mean you don't know the Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? I got you. I got you. Just because you didn't graduate school does not mean that you do not know the Pledge of Allegiance. Mm -hmm. So miss me with that bullshit. So hearing, oh, I think I heard of Project 25, Project 2025. Oh, I think I know what Kamala Harris is talking about. Oh, I think I heard that Donald Trump. Shut the fuck up. Sis, wait, wait, wait. You got to give people some grace. You got to give people grace. I can't. But you have to. I, I, Sis. It's, it's hard for me because I'm like, what? why haven't you heard of what is it? I, I feel you. That's what. It, that's what it is. I'm like. I sis. I feel you. It's I, hard. I, I know, but I. You also got to think like everybody isn't moving in the way that we're moving, right? We are highly tuned into this shit. Highly tuned into it. Most of the people I talk to who call me on a regular, I'm talking politics every goddamn day with somebody. True. You know what I'm saying? So we're highly tuned into it. Now I can't do I. I can't expect my my YNs, right, to be... I'm going to keep using it. I'm not going to stop. <laughs> I can't expect my YNs who is out in the street hustling and doing whatever to be tuned in the way I'm tuned in. But they've heard of it. Like, they don't have to be like... Okay, but you can hear of it and not know because it's, it's a 900 and something page document. You can, you, can, you can say, yeah, I've heard about it in passing and haven't looked, 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 at, it at, uh, looked at it at all. There are people who have probably only heard about Project 2025 sure. from us who are watching. And maybe maybe that's what my concern is. Okay. Now, maybe, yeah. maybe that's what my concern is. Like, how many times do Headrest and Lipsticks, CNN, wh whoever, have to beat you over the head with information or just C SEO keywords mm -hmm. for you to be like, well, maybe I need to, to look at this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Why yeah. is it that seven days before Election Day... Well, that was posted on the 19th. Okay. <laughs> 20 days before election day. <laughs> it's like, oh, you know what? Before, I, bef on my way, when I get to the early voting parking lot, let yeah. me go ahead and look this up. Why is that? What is stopping you from 
taking a step out of your comfort zone. And I know taking a step out is hard. But what is stopping you from taking a minute to pause the motherfucking Eagles game when she ain't making you no money or stopping love is blind, whatever it is, mm -hmm. to really look at things that are going to affect you and your life? That's I think that's what makes me so angry because I'm like... Mm -hmm. The NFL is not affecting you yeah. at all. Yes. If you got prize picks, yeah. yeah okay, sure. fine. You know, it's, it's not affecting you. Watching all the Netflix shows is not... If you miss an episode, you can always go back and watch it. If you don't vote, you don't get a second chance until the next election. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what just... That's just what pisses me off. Because yeah. it's just like the resources are there. That brother said... Taking away, Donald Trump literally said he wants to eliminate the Department of Education. Yeah. He should have did it when Betsy DeVos was around, but whatever. Oh. Okay, if we're gonna talk about it, yeah. um, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. the resources are there; they're already limited, but they are there for you to educate your stuff, educate yourself mm -hmm. on things that truly matter. Mm -hmm. And what matters is what's getting ready to happen in the next seven days. Yeah, you know, I think. I think there's a lot that goes into that. I do think that people who don't know much about it might have, there might be, I can't speak for everybody, but I think there might be some who are embarrassed that they don't know like what's going to be on the ballot, I agree. right? But also mm. the system is designed for it to be confusing and there aren't enough educational materials mm. to help people uh, understand what they're voting for yeah, and who they're voting for and why they're voting for them. You know, you go to you go to somebody's website and you read their policies and you be like, "What the fuck does this mean?" Yeah, that now that's true. There are certain policies you be like, "Huh? What is this about?" I'm confused. Give me the layman's terms, like you know what I'm saying. So <laughs> like, yeah, you know, I think I feel you and I understand your frustration and I get it, but I'm also like, my thing is okay. How do we as a community mm. solve this? How do we make sure that we're one? making sure our men aren't falling into more very much white, right, right wing white supremacist ideologies by listening to these weird fucking podcasts and actually listening to people who know what's going on. Yeah. Who's, yeah and who's not, you know, talking, blowing smoke out in the ass. Yeah. You know, like, but I, I, I yeah. would love to know how Don Lemon is doing. Cause I know the conversation that he's having with some of these people on the street. I follow him on uh, TikTok, Same. and I love him. I love, I, I, I know when he's like off camera, he's probably like, what Yo, in he's, the hell? I'm, he's having some insane conversations it's, with It's you. crazy. Yeah. I'm just like, you yeah. know, and he, he, he does it with so much professionalism mm. and so much candor. Yeah that straight face you know I, I don't know if i'd be able to do it i don't think i would be either because i'd be like like the lady that said she voted for jill stein mm -hmm. i mean okay oh that girl that black girl and all i kept thinking about was the episode where sierra got y'all asses about third party candidates i told, told y'all niggas I told you I'm gonna That's get... the whole time listening to that lady's response. That's exact. All I'm thinking, all I'm hearing is Sierra in the, in the back of my head. That's all I'm thinking about. And I kind of wish that Don Lemon heard that episode as well, because he probably would have been thinking the same thing. Well, he he probably was thinking it regardless because yeah. he spent years on CNN mm -hmm. talking about it. Mm -hmm. So it's like I I don't know, man. Um, because that, that happened here in Charlotte. Was that here in Charlotte? Yes, that black girl. Yes, I wish I knew he was here. Me I too. I would have went up town and been like. Don, we need to talk. I want to be on your. I want to be on your TikTok. No facts. I got things to say. Who child? I wish I would. Oh, I wish I would have known too. Yeah, yeah. I would have blocked out my whole day. Listen, like, I'm out. I would have called out of work. I need to no be facts. On, I need to be on Don Lemon's TikTok. Child, <laughs> I got shit to say. Mm, mm, mm. So, um, yeah, we can go for one more politic thing. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, you want to talk about our our mans who we who were like really shocked about last week? We were shocked. That's a good question. But yeah, I mean, he had the audacity. That's you know what he did. Yeah, he did. He had the audacity. He did. Um, you want to set this up while I look for his video? Yeah. Okay. So we're talking about Charlemagne the God. He was on. <laughs> Y'all fearless black media leader. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> he was on CNN mm -hmm. playing the role of like the righteous, and um, okay, I'm 
sorry, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? He and he kind of had some back and forth banter with Anderson Cooper and pretty much berated CNN mm-hmm. for their lack of covering the mm-hmm. issues at hand. Mm-hmm. And Anderson Cooper was like, well, we can play the clip. I got it. You're right. I'm okay, sorry. Here we go. Here we go. Mr. President. And <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm especially if that you... president is a fascist. That's yeah. talking about putting people in camps. That's talking about, once again, terminating the Constitution to overthrow the results of an election. That's talking about, you know, jailing his political opponents. Yeah. Like, that rhetoric doesn't scare people? Well, we, we talk about this every single... This is what, I, I, I don't think I've been talking, talking about, about this enough. every... Every get to come out and just spout talking points that they don't even believe, and those yeah. are people I tried to eliminate from having ever on the air again. I think no network has honest conversations about Donald Trump. You haven't had, nobody's had honest conversations about Donald Trump since 2016. I saw last night they were talking about, you know, the double standard that exists between Donald Trump and the vice president, but it's always a double standard with Trump, whether it's with Hillary, whether it's, you yeah. know, against Biden, now with, with Kamala. We talk about him being a threat to democracy, but we don't treat him like one. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know what you've been watching, but like, I don't know of any Trump supporters out there or people who like him who are tuning in f- to me every night to try to get, you know, to, to be validated in their opinions. Like, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't disagree. Think, I don't think it's about validating. What do you mean? Validating the Trump? Well, well you're is? saying like that we're not that I, that I guess you're saying I'm not discussing all the things he is saying and doing and pointing it out and talking to, you know, what John Kelly. I mean, this. Okay. So that clip, okay. All right. So that clip went viral, Mm -hmm. and I know the only person that I could speak about this with was Sis. Yeah. (laughs) I didn't tweet about it. I immediately sent a voice note. I was like, am I the only one that's seeing the irony Mm -hmm. and the hypocrisy in the comments that Charlemagne the guy made? Um, And of course you agree with me because it's like we have talked about we on the show and just in our private conversations have talked about how sometimes his rhetoric can be dangerous because it's very flip floppy. Yes. It's very flip floppy. Yes. And those who have been watching The Breakfast Club for years uh, probably like truly have watched The Breakfast Club for years will probably agree. There's a reason why he has been... um, attacked by some of the toughest rappers in the game. Mm-hmm. Cause like you over here saying one thing and then when I'm in your face, you saying a different thing. Mm-hmm. There's reasoning behind Birdman's appearance and when Beanie Siegel got in the show and all those different things mm-hmm. like, okay. Um, because it just, it makes no sense. Also, and this is not just being like, so pro CNN, this is just being pro actual media. Mm-hmm. And I think, I don't know where this sudden hatred for CNN has come from. Yes, it's everywhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, I've seen a lot of it. Now, granted, yes, do we not like CNN because they fired Don Lemon, of course. Right. Because, you know, he was telling the truth and they couldn't handle it. Also, CNN has been under some new, um, under new leadership. Mm-hmm. But I think people like Anderson Cooper, uh, what's my girl's name? Abby Phillips. Yeah. Caitlin is a few of them that have really been able to hold it down and be pretty much in the middle because at the end of the day, and this is just coming from experience as a journalist, you you have to talk about both things. So CNN, yes, is going to talk about if the, if the trend is Kamala Harris black, yes, CNN is going to have to talk about it, but they're not going to sit there and have the same conversation that Fox news is having about Kamala Harris being black. Mm-hmm. So in that regard, I was like, Charlemagne, right? Are you serious right now? Yeah. Like, CNN is is very much pro um, pro Kamala Harris. Mm-hmm. They don't have to say it. They don't have to endorse anybody. But it's it's obvious. Mm-hmm. So I thought it was very interesting that this is the narrative that Charlemagne is spouting after he puts out a cease and desist letter because if you have not been watching television. The Donald Trump ads, whose face are you seeing? Charlemagne the God, because of some things that he and uh, DJ Envy has said on The Breakfast Club. Hold up. So you you know I work, I have not seen any of the ads. Oh, I have to show you. Shut up. They are, they, they, the Trump campaign has actually used the clip from the, and when I say as soon as the commercial come on, the first face you see and the words that you hear are Charlemagne the God. 
and then it pans to DJ Envy, whatever response he says. So Charlemagne has sent a cease and desist letter due to that. But there's a reason why he was able to put your shit in his ad to begin with. Damn. That I did not know. That, that for me, that's why I was like, what? I'm confusion. That I did not know. And every agree with everything you said. Because yeah, I, Charlemagne is very, he's, you know what? He's, he's like Van Jones, but a little bit less. Because you know Van Yeah, J- Vans is. Oh my God, he gets it on my nerves. That nigga. But he does jump from side to side, <laughs> left to right, front to back. And it is ironic that it was him calling out all, and using all media networks, which I think is also bullshit. Yeah. Because every, a lot of the clips that we use on this show come from a whole bunch of mm-hmm. CNN, MSNBC, mm-hmm. every once in a while, Fox News as yeah. well. Like, you know, we use, and they're talking about everything. Now, are they talking about them in the way that you want them to be talked about? Probably not. Right. So if you're looking for context, then maybe you should be talking about that shit on The Breakfast Club instead of up there lollygagging and bullshitting and being absolutely dangerous to the black community. That's right. That's what I think. And no, for real, because like it was just weeks ago that even Charlemagne the God was questioning if he was going to vote for Kamala Harris. Do you remember that clip? Oh my God. It was yes. just a couple weeks ago. So then for you to be like, oh, y'all not talking about it enough. Talking about, ain't we supposed to be a patriotic country? Why are we even. I was really, I was very happy about Anderson Cooper's response. Like, Cooper was like I'm calling bullshit. Yeah, he was like, Period. first of all, what you not going to do. Okay. That's what you not going to do. Because absolutely fucking not. He's out of my fucking Vanderbilt. And, okay. Okay. <laughs> not, okay. not on duty. Okay. And, you know, I mean, look at what Abby Phillips has done with her segment mm-hmm. um, on CNN. Mm-hmm. Like, you you cannot say that CNN is not covering what needs to be covered. Mm-hmm. They talk about, I'm pretty sure, we were talking earlier about, like, Sis was saying, like, she's having a very hard time this election season. Imagine what them niggas is going through. Listen, okay? And we ain't even been on air in three weeks, and I am stressed it's, out. It's exhausting. So, I'm, shout out to Anderson Cooper to being like, well, mm-mm. You're not going to do that. Not here. Right. No, absolutely not. But my thing is, is like so many people were in the comments was like, oh, Charlemagne yes. is right. That's what was, that's why I was like. Here go one. It says Charlemagne's role, role with Anderson demonstrates the cultural phenomenon I call white shock. It's when a white man who considers himself open-minded, maybe even progressive, is suddenly reminded that he's still a white man. Absolutely and maybe he not. doesn't really have the race thing figured out. What? Is, what are you talking about? Oh, God. This, and this is, Okay. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Like you have to, you can't just read the headlines. You have to read the whole story to get the full, the full context of what's going on here. And I think that's a part of the reason why I was so, I'm seeing people like, yo, he ate there. And I'm like, huh? I was flabbergasted. I'm like, are we, we talking about, this is the breakfast club dude? Yes. Seriously? Yes. Someone else says, Charlemagne ate that. He's right. Enough is enough. America medium, media and journalism has been piss poor. In the name of being unbiased, they have completely disregarded the relations of what Trump is. We've been gaslit for months by news media, and it's Craziness. sickening. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. That's wild to me. Yeah. I don't, this, and this is what I'm saying. Like, So what? Are, are we the drama? Like, What is it that I we're missing know. here? Like, are we just missing something or are you guys just batshit nuts? Because, again, we watching the same news. We're on the same social media. Your TikTok might be different. But, <laughs> for sure. For you, sure. You know what I'm saying? For but sure. a major, like, for the most part, we're all watching the same shit. So I'm very much confusion. You know what it's given as I'm looking at this? It's given, like, these people are like, okay, so this one person says, Anytime any media outlet reports on the outlandish things Trump says, they legitimize, they legitimize his candidacy for president. That is what Charlemagne is essentially saying. CNN does it to fill the news cycle. This is not journalism. It's entertainment. No. Okay. Huh? Wait, read that again? Anytime any media outlet reports on the outlandish, outlandish things Trump says, they legitimize his candidacy for president. That is what Charlemagne is essentially saying. 
CNN does it for to fill the news cycle. This is not journalism. It's entertainment. We okay. So I'm confusion. So do you want them to talk about it or not? That's exactly what I was about I'm, to say. I'm confusion. Because then it would be like, oh, well, how come nobody talked about them racist remarks that happened at the fucking rally this week? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you want? What, what it, you know what? It's very interesting. I saw that somebody was upset because CNN had cut. I think there were two rallies going on the same night, mm -hmm. which is normal. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they cut from Kamala Harris's um, Kamala Harris's speech, and I, I'm pretty sure it was towards the tail end, mm -hmm. and they cut to the Donald Trump, and people were like, see, that's what I'm talking about. They are a net international media outlet, and we are in the brinks of one of the most important presidential elections that you're ever going to see probably in your lifetime. So they cannot, because they're, their social media editor... <laughs> Their social media managers are seeing what you're saying. So it's like, okay, got it. So let's see what they're talking about in Trump land. And then that's not good enough for you. So what is it that you want? Right. You're mad about... Yeah, sometimes y'all be sounding like Trump. I'm not even going to front. Sometimes y'all really do. Talking about news and media is... What yeah, did that some, other person say? Y'all sound just... Sometimes y'all sound just like him. Because... It, it, it just makes no sense. It really makes absolutely no sense. Like, even when it was like the debates, they really got CBS moderating the debates. Yeah. They, when they did, when ABC did it, it was a problem. When they had Chris Wallace at Fox News doing it, it was a problem. Who the fuck do y'all want to do it? Tokyo Tony and that Rick Ross baby mama? I mean, oh, what? Oh, shit. What is, who, who is going to be, who are y'all going to approve? This is what I'm just, I'm so confused. It's not going to happen. You're not going to see, um, you're not going to see the girl that be under the desk on TikTok doing the damn, uh, I don't like, they're not a quotable source to me. Yeah, you're not going to see her doing the debates. Mm -hmm. Okay. At the end of the day, ABC, CBS, Fox, CNN, PBS, they ain't going nowhere. They're not. They're not going anywhere. Right. The only people that probably be able to do the debate. Well, no, I don't know if we'd be able to moderate it because we'd be up there like, what you say? I would not be professional. Cut. Cut. They We're going to commercial. No. Nope. But it's like, it's, I don't know. Y'all, y'all are, y'all are, y'all just like Charlamagne. Y'all yeah. wishy washy as fuck. Wishy washy as fuck. Talking about the, um, the American news media is piss poor. That sounds like Donald Trump rhetoric to me. Yeah, I don't. Fake news? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm confusion. Oh, so now okay. CNN is fake news? Right. Get the fuck out of here. All because Charlamagne the guy said it? You're, yeah, you niggas are wild. But he's on the Trump ad. Right. I mean, and granted, you know, it's not like he personally sent this to Donald Trump himself, but at the end of the day, there's a reason why he was able to use it. To be clipped. Right. If he didn't say anything, if he was very much so pro one way, it wouldn't be a problem. And that's all I have to say about that. All right. We, uh... We're going to lighten the mood? Yeah, we're going to lighten the mood because we're at an hour and 30 already. An hour and nine minutes? Yeah, just an hour and, an hour and nine minutes. So, um... We've got some fun stuff. Good news. Great news, actually. Amazing news. The Waynes family is coming back to Scary Movie. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> really, literally. Damon, me, listen, Damon me. Wayans Jr. Marla Wayans. Oh, I'm married down there, man. Uh, yeah, no. You, you, you know, no talking. Damon Wayans Jr. I know you probably like, usually date white women, mm -hmm. but if you would like to try. Mm -hmm. Again, I am here. I'm available. Um, he I'll, is fine. I'll get a sewing or whatever it is that you like. I can cut these off. I can. I can go right with it. Mm, I feel like he would like the um, locks. You know, I don't know if he likes white women. He's probably like, like a middle part bust down type of situation. Mm, maybe. You know what I'm saying? So maybe. you know, I'm just trying to meet you where you are. Um, mm. Or you can meet me where I'm at. You know, call me. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, I'm really excited. The Waynes are finally coming back to the scary movie franchise because after two, it got really weird. After after three, it was. They did, but they did one and two though. They didn't do three. I don't think so. Well, it makes it they weren't in three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I think Keenan directed it. He directed three. Oh, but okay. they didn't write the script. But yeah, yeah. yeah I, I give the the third one was fine, but mm. after that, yeah, uh, it got it got really weird. Very it, much it, so. Yeah, nobody liked it. Right. So I'm really excited. I wonder which scary movies they're gonna pull from this time. There's a whole new. Oh my god. There's, there's so, so many, many. Mo so many scary movies to choose from. So I'm really excited. I can't wait. I'm 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 hyped. Yeah. I just I really hope that Anna Ferris 
is on the line, and I hope that uh, obviously Regina Hall yeah, is on the line. For sure. I really do hope that that you know let's bring the gang back together. Absolutely. Um, let's see who else was in the first. Oh, we can't bring. Bring who? I'm trying to think. Wait, who else was in the first one? All of them made it back. Well, except for like the 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 the, the prom queen girl. Oh yeah, yeah. And her boyfriend. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, yeah. but I'm I'm here for it. Yeah, I love I, yeah. it. I love it. Great I love times. It. It's really time. I'm really glad that like Marlon Wayans is out here. You know, I know he's on tour and stuff, and mm -hmm. he's and so if you haven't shameless plug, we're not getting paid for this at all. But like Damon, both the Damon, Damon Wayans and Damon Wayans Jr. Junior. have a new show called Papa's House. Very funny. Mm -hmm. So glad that they're even bringing back bloopers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When the last time you saw bloopers since like my wife and kids. So um, I'm really happy about that. So please, another thing y'all complain about is that there's no black shows. Then they put out black shows and y'all don't watch them yeah, so. on major networks and not on Tubi. Yeah. And uh, y'all yeah. don't watch them. So please support them. Mm -hmm. So we want to see they find because Damon Wayne Sr. Junior. Yeah, but senior. I want that son. The apple don't fall too far from the tree. All That's right. okay. Michael Kyle was fine. All right. Who? Well, from his character, my wife and kids. Oh yeah, my wife. You didn't think he was fine? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All of the Wayans are good looking men. Yes. Yeah. I saw Marlon and showing a person one time, and wow. Word. Wow. Wow. Word. Those are gorgeous. Ass Damn. Men. Like and so really? they're like on TV and then I saw them. I was like, I would fucking die. Like oh I didn't. God. I was like, we were in Manhattan for something. and yeah. I saw them from afar. And yeah. I was like, wow, wow. Yeah, they're like they're highly attractive men. Love that for them. Mm -hmm. Love that for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what else we got? So everybody's favorite busted baby uh, rapper. Um, <laughs> plies. You know, plies, plies, plies. I feel like is a is known by a niche group of people, and that is everybody who went to college around the same time that we Facts. did. Facts. <laughs> like if we were to say, like you know, you want to be baby full of the wrist girls, and like people be like, huh? huh? <laughs> like only a niche group of people know who plies is. Anyway, he's been very vocal like this election season about highly vocal, which I'm like, okay, plies. Yeah, plies. I love it. He's getting to the YNs. So he released, he's very much pro Kamala. And so he released a song recently. Um, Cause you know, everyone was asking GZ, is he going to remake my president is black? He going through divorce. Yeah. So probably not. So probably was like, you know what? I'll pick up that baton. Um, and so he made a song called Mrs. 47. I love it. And it's actually really good. It's cute. You know, it's going to be nice. Something nice to play for when she wins. Absolutely. You know, so we can, you know, Matter of fact, yeah. Yeah. Like, blow that shit up. Yeah, so I feel like they need to make sure that Plies is at the inauguration. You know, they should have Miss For Mrs. 47 playing, like, when she walk out. No, you I'm don't. asking for a lot? I don't think so, but it's not going to happen. He's not cussing on the song. He's giving mad props but to Kamala. They're not going to play that. I mean, I'm, I want it to happen for him. I do, but... I'm gonna tweet at Kamala HQ and see what go how we go okay. from there. Okay. Because I feel like it should be seen. Listen, if that does happen, I am all here for it. Yeah. Uh, you know, but you know that freedom by Beyonce has probably already been selected. Yeah. And approved. Well, you know, it could be like it could be like playing like when it's on downtown. Well, I mean, we'll be there. Absolutely. Let me tell y'all something. We're going to an inauguration. We need to we need to book these Airbnbs. Like, well, yeah. Now. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. for real. Yeah. Seriously. Like because. Seriously, yeah, yeah. Um, I saw that uh, she's actually going to be having her election, her watch night at Howard University. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. Um, Howard, be on your best behavior, please. Yeah, like no bubble skirts. Yeah, what's that about? I heard the whole phenomenon for, for everybody's homecoming. Yeah, all, asses was out. All the youngins, the YNs had they booty out. The YN girls had they, they booties out with these bubble skirts. Damn. I yeah, mean, you know. I know their asses was out. Listen, to be young and dumb. I mean, to be younger. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not about to say like be like I'm old because I'm not. But I mean, whole ass was out. That's crazy. You remember this? Remember like how you used to be like go to the club without yeah. a coat on? No yeah. Head, you know what I'm saying? That's without a coat on. We did stupid shit. Okay, but I didn't have my ass out. Uh, I mean, you might have wore a short skirt. Sure, but my ass. I mean, ass cheeks is out. 
Well, listen. You stop making excuses for these. No, I'm not. I promise. I'm just. I mean, you're sitting on the bar stool with your ass is out. Oh, yeah, that's nasty. It's disgusting. That's nasty. That's nasty. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, lastly on the list, um, Dwayne Wade was uh, honored. Um, honored. He uh, what's what's the what's the what's it called? Honor. He was honored at the what's the name of the Miami Heat? The, he he got a statue outside the Miami Heat. Uh, yeah. Uh, arena. Uh, arena. Um, and it don't look like him. It don't look like him. It looked like maybe Shaq. I don't know who it looked like. It looked it looked like somebody said it looked like Lawrence Fishburne <laughs> when Lawrence Fishburne was in the Matrix. <laughs> It look, <laughs> it don't look nothing like, it don't look nothing like him. Yeah, it kind of like that, that statue of, what's that soccer player, Christian? Oh, Ronaldo? Yeah. yeah. Was that the same guy that did this? I don't That's know. That's the same artist, let me just say guy, because I don't know. I don't it, know. But the, the, the funny thing is, Dwayne was like, there's clips of him like on the internet, like where he was like looking at it how it was sculpted in the process before it was done. And it was like, you ain't say nothing, dog. Like, you could have, you saw right then and there it didn't look like you. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I think, I think we need to figure out another way to honor the greats. Um, you don't think a statue is a good idea? I mean, a statue was great. A statue was great. Mm -hmm. But, you know, look at what, look where we at. Like, that's, that shit looks horrible. Yeah. It's not, it's not, yeah. I don't have a statue in my honor yet, but like, you, you know what I mean? Like, it's even like when you go to like, like the Wax Museum, you mm. see something, you'd be like, who is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously you go to like, you know, Madame Tussauds in New York City versus the one we went to in Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> that one in Nashville was crazy. Okay. I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay. Some of them, we was like, who? Seriously? Um... <laughs> But you go to the one in Manhattan, you actually might think you're staring at Beyonce in real life because, like, that shit is creepy. The one in San Fran is good, too. Is it for mm -hmm, real? Mm -hmm. The one in D.C. is uh, is a little creepy, too. Oh, I ain't shit. Gonna find it. Especially, like, because the president's, like, they dead. So it was like, you... Oh! You, like... Well, Couldn't have been no worse than Abraham in the club with us that night. Yeah, that was... He was... He looked just like that, man. Yeah, that shit was weird. That was weird. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. Dwayne Wade, like... I wonder what that conversation was like when him and Gabrielle got home. Like, for real, you know what I'm saying? But he saw it. What he saw, what it was already, what it was sculpted like that. He saw it. Damn. So what could the conversation be? I don't know. I don't know. I need to know what picture it referenced. That. And that's it right there. Cause, yeah. Dwayne Wade has made many faces in his career. Right, but I ain't never seen that one. Doesn't ring a yeah, bell at all. Doesn't resonate with me at all. No, I'll put it up on the screen so y'all can see it too. So, but I don't, I don't know. I know LeBron probably was like, "Listen, whoever do my uh, my statue in Cleveland, all okay, right, mm -hmm. get it together." He probably got no, numerous statues. He probably, I don't think he's gonna put one in Cleveland. Why not? Where else will you put do one? Do you think? Do you know how mad they were when he left the Cleveland? When he left Cleveland? What's oh, when he left y'all with three rings, two rings. So be mad. Do you rem you on. remember how the white people was acting a fool? Yeah, ridiculous. So he'll, his statue will probably be at the Lakers. See, that's some bullshit. I, don't I, think, I, no. I think it's going to be. That's what I think it's going to be. Kobe is there. That's it. Yeah, yeah they're going to put I'm LeBron sorry. right no. next to him. He go to Akron. Damn. I'm sorry. I, that's just, in my opinion, like, yes, he got a championship with the Lakers. Don't get it twisted. But, like, what he did for the city of Cleveland and just for the state of Ohio in general mm -hmm. and his story, like, that's where his, his origin story began. Yeah. Like, not in L.A. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I am with you yeah no so i'm with you I'm, I'm not a cleveland cavaliers fan but i do have the utmost respect for lebron james mm -hmm. so like act up like okay, yeah just act right did you see daniel kaluuya's statue for get out the get out statue that they made for him yeah i fucking hate it why see why do they make a and statue they, you know what they made a statue for, of him falling the one of him falling i've had a lot of interesting conversations about how people feel about that but why did they and make why, a statue for him and why did they memorialize him in of all the roles he's been in, in the so second place forward. yeah yeah. Well, you know what? I have things to say because I'm, the, I'm noticing even like we don't talk about him getting an Oscar for his role as uh, Huey P. Newton. It's like that. It's like that movie just came and went. Oh, not Huey P. Newton. You mean um, Fred? 
Fred, Fred Hampton, Hampton, not Hugh Hampton. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't Judas and the Black Messiah. Yeah, like it's like that movie just came and went. Yeah, it and did. I, it's it's weird. To, well, I watched it. It's weird to me, but I understand it because mm-hmm. people don't like they don't want to see the truth um, yeah. that the FBI killed Fred Hampton. Oh, for sure. Um, because of the work that he was doing, they still be shooting up his grave to this day. That's some weird shit. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Why? Why are you doing that? Because hatefulness is oh. a, is a disease. Get worse soon. I don't like it. Yeah. But like, I, I heard, I didn't see the statue of, of Daniel Kaluuya, but. I'll pull it up right here because you know, I follow him. I want him to get back into the acting bag. We don't want you behind the camera. No, I don't. I have things to say about actors that do that. Yeah, like keep, keep your ass in the front. Seriously. Because I want to put my eyes on you. You know what I'm saying? Him. <laughs> I saw Coleman Domingo's doing his directorial debut. Okay. All right, no. Um. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll put it on the screen here. <laughs> what? So, Are we for real? So apparently, like the, wherever this statue was at, like it's like a whole bunch of other statues of like like really like f- um, important things in movies that happened over the years, like in certain movies. And so apparently, this is one like a big a big moment. And not him in the chair. I I said the same thing. I felt like him being in the chair with the tear coming out of his eye was way more of an iconic moment in that movie than him falling. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. Yep. He looks great, but yeah, well, he I mean, looks great, obviously. But it's Daniel, it's Daniel, and he's not mad. You know, someone was like, "Look at his face. He ain't happy to see that shit." Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, he should be mad. A great, a great deal. He should be mad. Oh, <sighs> like he only wrote like one sentence. He was like, "Yeah, yesterday I got a statue in the city. Blessed." Yeah, I'm he, sure you are. Yeah, he he was he's not impressed with that shit. Mm. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's it, guys. Let's, um, the fuck? Sherelle's pissed. Cause, like, well, okay, this is no shade to Daniel Kaluuya at all. Oh. But, like, why are you getting a statue? You good, cuz? It's the, like, why are you getting a statue? Yes, you put out, yes, you won an Oscar. Great. And that's wonderful. But, the statue. Let's let's be let's be real here. It's not necessary I yet. I don't like you talking about my man. Like no, that. I'm just saying. No, like, no, it's, I'm just saying. Like, mm, like Dwayne Wade getting one, got it. You know what I'm saying? Sure, like, sure. But I mean, Daniel Kaluuya, we love you. We love you a whole lot, but mm, you don't I, need the statue yet. Damn. I can go on a whole rant about. Praising not mediocrity, but just like oh, me, like, me, not me, like but like oh, like oh. like celebrating stuff too early. Okay, and that's an example. I don't like how you be talking about my man. No, no, I no, love no, him. No, 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 I love him. I really do. I adore him. But like, I don't like it. The, nah, the Wikipedia page is not long enough yet. Damn, do Denzel got a statue? So then, there's that. And that man's still working. At I can't years. wait to see Gladiator too. Me too. I'm hyped. Yeah, Ooh. I need to watch the first one again. It's been a while. It's been some years. Yeah. Like, Are you not entertained? You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's like, yeah. If Denzel don't got one in Mount Vernon yet, why he get one right Where's now? Where's Mount Vernon at? New York. Well, they need to get Mount. It's, that's a Mount Vernon issue. But this, well, that's all I'm saying. So, so leave Daniel out of this and and, <laughs> and give the smoke to Mount Vernon, okay? You you got a fucking great from your city and you ain't put a statue up. Fuck Mount Vernon. Leave the UK out of this. The UK represented, you know, they only got like six blacks over there who act anyway. You know, all I'm saying is. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Shit. Leave Dare you out of there. Um, shout out to whoever was who reached out to me and told me that we, there wasn't any of the episodes. Up. Like something that happened with Apple Podcasts and some of the episodes were missing. They are all up there now. Um, but I don't know. Apple Podcasts did whatever they wanted to do. That that yeah. Apple's been playing games with a lot of different people. Like mm-hmm. I know Megan Thee Stallion. She put out a her act two the other day, and yeah. it was there, and then it was gone, and now it's back up there again. I don't playing know. games. I don't so know. stop playing with black women. Right. But we've got a review. We got a review. All right. This is a Liffy joint too. Okay. 
<laughs> what we to read? I want to read along. Okay. Oh, she wants to read along. No, no, I'm gonna I'm 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 pull it up. I'm gonna pull it up. I'm pull it up. So you didn't read this one, did you? No. This is long October sixth. Yeah. Yeah. No, we weren't even here. Okay. So this is from Patrick S M. Oh. Patrick, you had a lot to say. I love the name. I love the obviously. Name. Oh, true. Did your dog write this? <laughs> no. Your dog got thumbs. Okay. Um. Damn. I told. <laughs> I told you. So the title is Run, Don't Walk to Head Wrap. I can't see the full title, but I'm going to say Head Wraps and Lipsticks. All right, Patrick, what you say about us? Wait, is this Patrick Patrick? Who is Patrick Patrick? Patrick is an Aggie, and he does listen to the show. All the- Go ahead, we're going to listen. Okay, to okay, okay. If you're not subscribed to Head Wraps and Lipsticks yet, let me put you on to this gym. From the moment I hit play, I'm captivated by the top-notch production quality. Ah, period. Right you are. You're goddamn right. The hosts maintain a consistent high standard in video and audio presentation. <laughs> Um, their attention to visual aesthetics is a treat for YouTube viewers who appreciate more than just good content, but also a polished viewing experience. Yes, polished. Come on, polished. I'm loving these words. Period. What truly stands out is the dynamic between the Sierra, between Sierra and Sherelle. Firstly, they're two Aggies. Period. Aggie pride. Oh, then I know who this is from. You, okay. <laughs> As a fellow alum, I appreciate that shared experience. They nail the art of blending humor with serious conversation, keeping me laughing with their banter and reactions. I love when Sierra clocks some tea and me and Sherelle's jaw drops at the same time. (laughs) (laughs) Each episode feels like a chopping it up with friends. Even when discussing heavy topics like politics and crimes, they keep it factual and approachable. Their willingness to fact check in real time reflects their dedication to accuracy and transparency which is refreshing and sets them apart from many other media outlets. Oh my God, you made me cry. A testament to their thoughtful content is this segment, Bustin' Ballots. As someone who's keen on understanding the political landscape, this segment has been incredibly enlightening. It offers a comprehensive analysis of state-by-state legislative matters, reminding us why local elections carry significant weight. Their knack for demystifying complex political issues without sounding preachy is both educational and entertaining, highlighting their intent to keep the audience informed and engaged. What makes hair wraps and lipsticks truly special is the warmth Sherelle and Sierra exude in the community they've built with their audience. Their ability to support and challenge each other respectfully during discussions models conversations we all need today. If you're looking for a podcast that mixes laughter with serious dialogue, all while keeping you informed on the latest news, this is the place to be. 10 out of 10 recommend. Patrick! Oh my God! I didn't even know you could put this many characters in one of these things, first of all. Their knack for demystifying complex political issues without sounding you, first of preachy. All, first of all. You, yes, this is from an Aggie. You better the, eat with that. The education. Because you ate with that, though. Because you ate with that, though. Like, you're going to have to put that on. You're going to put it on Instagram. I damn sure like, am. Because you ate with that, though. Like, like absolutely. Yes, you did. Patrick, that means so much to us that you got, you get so much of this from us. Like, love it. Cause we just be up here being our true, honest selves. And so we was eating chicken wings and chicken fingers before we hit play. Swear like, to God. Like, okay, you know, we, we just, we come to y'all here. in our tea, our graphic tees and our, <laughs> in our pants. Mm-hmm. I ain't worn a head, a head wrap in how goddamn long. And I, I have a lot of lipstick that needs to be uncovered. You know, but I, at mm-hmm. the end of the day, it's all about, you know, what we're putting out to y'all. And I'm so glad Correct. that you can see that. And it, it just makes my heart just yeah, smile. That really does make, I'm definitely going to like. Oh my God. Everybody needs to see this. Oh my God. I just, I mean, he wrote like a full little mini essay. Put this on a t-shirt. Patrick, you are absolutely a sweetheart. What a great way to come back from three weeks of missing. Absolutely. Cause, could you imagine I had to cuss y'all out for not like. I'm not going for it. I was. Um, oh, I, was, I was a little concerned. I was expecting to like really let it, let it, let it loose. I was, I was. I mean, we could have had more reviews. It's, but this one. But this is what is this a fantastic? Kind of like. Patrick really saved y'all. Yeah. You gotta say thank you to Patrick it's, in the comments. Okay, literally. Yes, you say thank you, Patrick. All right. Say it now. You might as well cash app him I'm too. I'm telling like, shit. Cash, ca- Patrick, put your cash app up so they real. can send you some money. Cause damn. All right. That was fantastic. It was. I love that. I'm, I'm not even. I'm really touched. I'm not even going to give y'all a joke. Because, like, why would we. Why? You know what I'm saying? Why? I don't even think we need to do that right now. No. Because, first of all, ain't shit funny right now. No. And, second of all, Patrick. Patrick, you ate. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. I'm so touched by that. Like. 
Um, wow. Yeah, it's beautiful. Wow. Okay, so you can follow us on a whole bunch of things. We're on Twitter at Head Rap Pod. We're on Instagram at Head Raps and Lipsticks. Check out our Facebook page, Head Raps and Lipsticks, the podcast. Go to our website, www.headrapsandlipsticks.com, where we have crew necks and t-shirts that are for sale but not on sale. We have a cash app. We should check that. At yeah. dollar sign Head Rap Pod. You can send us money. Um, if, you, if you're feeling froggy, you should leave. Right. Um, and leave then into la- the account. Right. And lastly, if for whatever reason Apple Podcast isn't working, you can find us on... <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you, can, you can find this on how many ways? Listen, Spotify, SoundCloud, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find us all there. That's it. That's it. Remember, election night. Join us. Mm-hmm. Watch with us. We're gonna be clutching our pearls. Yes, holding on to our seats real I, tight. I will bring the bottle of wine. Yeah, I will bring the bottle of wine. You should get that port wine. Okay, not a problem. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah, I might just stay at your house. I ain't gonna burn. I got the blow up mattress. Yeah, check with the Mister first. They have these niggas have been inseparable since wedding day. You hear me? Literally the day after. Where's my wife? Where's my husband? I mean. Oh, brother. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway. And the holidays coming up, prepare to be sick of me. Jesus. (laughs) I need to tell you about your grandma, by the way. Uh, She was cutting up. We'll see y'all next week. Bye, y'all. Bye. (laughs)